Inglês. Como é inglês? Yeah, because if you guys are here, I can tell you how to turn the camera, how to do this. Wait, where's this thing? Huh? Look. No, no. No one. I don't know what's going on with that. It's not. Um, it's not going to hang. Huh? It's not going to hang. Um, no, well, take that one over there. kitchen before I go live, okay? Well, before, <laughs> I'm already live. Before I start cooking. You have to clean your kitchen before you start cooking. Before I mean, this thing is like huh? shaky. Huh? This thing is like shaky. It's shaky? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to buy a sober ring light. All these ring lights are useless. I don't know where to get a sober, sober ring light. Come up this whole house. Let me wash my hands. How my jaws are doing? Good afternoon, Joyce. Hey, welcome, welcome. Cookie with Chef Ruby is live. <laughs> how are you guys doing? 98 people on Cookie with Chef Ruby. Y'all see how long? <laughs> you have to lift this up. Yeah, lift that up. Uh -huh, that's the only way you can hang. Go ahead, put it down. Go like that. Uh huh. You see that? <laughs> so I need to change the the um the, the screen thing on that phone. Hello, hello, hello. Cooking with Chef Ruby. How you guys doing? Welcome back. Y'all see how long you guys didn't see me on this page? Okay, go get your phone. Did you guys see how long you guys didn't see me on Chef, Cooking with Chef Ruby? Because I told you guys the last time this page. Something is going on with this page. Right now, I cannot even download it on my phone. So you go follow um, Chef Ruby and family. Chef Ruby and family, you guys go follow us over there. That's the, that's the place we are here now. Hey, English. What did I say? That's the place we are here now. Hey, perfect English. That's the place we do our most, most of our videos. So you all go follow Chef Ruby and family. When Abu come back, I'm going to tell him to type the page. Cooking with Chef Ruby. I have 120 plus thousand followers. Up to now, I don't even have 5,000 on Chef Ruby. Uh -uh. Chef Ruby and family. Please, you guys go follow Chef Ruby and family. Because if you don't see me on this page again, then I don't know where you guys going to find me. So please, let's go. Let's go follow Chef Ruby and family. Abu going to come pin the page. And we're going to pin the website on Chef Ruby and family. So I'm going to cook. I baked, um, I baked some baked chicken a uh, couple of days ago, right here. Those kids just play, play, play with my baked chicken. I'm not going to trash it. I'm going to cook it into jollof rice stew, and I make jollof rice on the side, okay? So let me show you guys how to use your, your, your leftover baked chicken to jollof rice. All right, let's cook. How is everyone doing? Chef Ruby is here. I'm good. I'm doing fine. Everything is okay. Hi, Tamara. How are you? Hi, Lorisha. How are you guys doing? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let me get my knife. So, I have all the... Eh, 
Let me turn the fire down. My tomatoes and um, peppers are boiling over there for the jollof rice. I'm going to show you guys. These onions look like African onions. African onions don't have no life. They're small because they, 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 they plant them in the dry, dry, dry sun. So they don't grow bigger. So this is how African onions look. So I wonder where these onions came from. Maybe they came from India or some third world country. That's how they African. Because when you buy those American onions, oh my God, they are so big. They're big like my head. American onions are big like my head because of the fertilizer. But African onions, they are organic. That's how they're small. So this one, I don't know. I'm sure this one's didn't come all the way from Africa. Because who's going to bring onions all the way to America from Africa? But they came from somewhere. Maybe Mexico. Maybe they came from Mexico. I don't know. You know, that's how all our onions are small, small, small and dry. When I go to Africa, whenever I go to their markets and look at their vegetables, I'm saying like, what's going on in this place? Their, their, their lemons are so dry and small. You can only get fresh lemons if they come from the tree, fresh. But those ones they take to the market to sell, oh my gosh. They look like, they, they, the lemons, they look like they have koshioko. <laughs> African vegetable look like they have koshioko. You, you guys know what is koshioko? Cholera. <laughs> hey, God, Father. I'm not making fun of it's the truth. It's the truth I'm saying. If you come from Africa, tell me I'm saying the truth. Hi, Miss Teresa. How are you? I hope you're feeling better. I tried to call you, though. Are you out of the hospital? I hope you're feeling better. Everybody is going through it. Everybody, even me. I was in the hospital for three days with my lover lover. My lover lover was not feeling too good, but he's okay now. Miss you. Glad to see you back. Thank you, Nasha. Nasha, please go follow Chef Ruby and family. I will come pin the page so they can follow us there. Come pin the page. How you guys doing? Chef Ruby and family, how you guys doing? Let me Google it. Google Koshioko. <laughs> koshioko. When somebody have Koshioko, that's how they... they <laughs> God. Google Koshioko. Or cholera. Cholera. All the vegetables in Africa, that's how they look. Like they have cholera. They dry. One day I went to the market to shop. I look at the cabbage. I'm looking. I said... Are you sure this is cabbage? Oh my God, the cabbage looks so small. You, you know the way American cabbage look? They big like my head. <laughs> then you go look at African cabbage, you're gonna say, wow. Oh my God, where this one come from? You know, mm -mm. it's not funny though. It's, it's sad what's going on in, in our third world country. Mm -mm. The things grow naturally. I mean, that's a chroma. Why they laugh? <laughs> it's a big koshioko. <laughs> now that I said I'm saying the truth. All right, let me trash my mess so I can continue my cooking. I need a trash bag. I always have my small, small trash bags. That's why I put my mess first. Tie them up before they go in the black bag. You know, the reason, the reason doing that. You know, my trash, my trash can, my big trash can used to be so nasty, stinky. Because I always put the trash in the black bag, take it there. Sometimes the black bag box, then you waste inside the trash can. It's a lot. So I started tying my trash in these small, small bags and put it in black bags and tie the black bags and put it there. So sometimes it takes like three to four months before I clean my trash can again. It used to be like every month because it's nasty. We taking food like this, you go pump, 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 pump inside a big trash can. So you're gonna nasty your big trash can, make it dirty with all those food because the food they get rotten. So when they get rotten, they mess up your big trash can. So land this, my jaws. Put your trash. These are your shopping bags. I always keep my shopping bags down there. So whenever I'm cooking, I put it here and put my stuff there, especially food. 
tie them or put them in the big trash bag. Let me rinse the onions. We're gonna cook fast. Let's cook. We're gonna cook fast, fast, fast. Okay, so I have two dishes I'm cooking. I'm gonna start. Abo! Abo! Maru! I thought you guys was gonna come help me. Let me get my hand in there. Habanero peppers. I'm doing three habanero peppers. I'm gonna cook the beans first. After I'm done with the beans, then I can cook my um, jollof rice, or maybe I can cook both sides. You guys know me; I know how to multitask. Uh, Miss, uh, oh, hey Paul, how are you? Long time. Paul said, "How are you?" I will be home. From the 11 to the 15 of February, I hope we can meet and I can taste your cooking. Meet where? I enjoy watching you cook when I am not working. Eh, hey, Paul, where do you want to meet with me? Tell me, please. Let me know. Maybe you want to kidnap me now. I hope we can meet so I can try your food. Eh? Hey, where are we gonna meet? I don't know. Mm -mm. I have to come with. I'll have to come with my, my big stuff to come meet with you. Coming with my babies, my baby, my honey, my everything. Coming with all my knives to come meet with you. <laughs> anyway, so let me show you guys. Let's look at the blender. I'm going to show you guys the blender. We have three habanero peppers. We have onions in here. So I'm going to cover it. No ginger, no garlic. Okay. Maybe the next blending will not have that. Let me plug it here. I will come now. Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. What's funny? Warm this two minutes. I If you like, 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 I'm trying to train you guys for your future wives. You're balancing, balancing, balancing. Hmm. It's for both of you. I'm trying to train you for your future wives. So at least when you get married, you're going to know how to cook. So we're going to blend this. You know what? I have to put something here. Huh? It's still good. It's good, isn't it? Type in the... Um, Type in the, uh, our page on cooking with Chef Ruby. Where is my crayfish? Okay. Oh, God. Okay, my crayfish is here. Is yeah, on this phone right here. So I have to put some crayfish here. Do you guys know what is crayfish? Most of my followers know what is crayfish. Okay? The crayfish, we are putting it for flavor. This for the beans. So now we're gonna blend. You okay, Abu? Yeah. Did you pin it? Yep. Okay, that palm oil, don't forget it to, you don't want it to burst. So we have habanero peppers, onion. Go check that palm oil so it don't burst. Three habanero peppers, like four onions, and small crayfish. Yeah, crayfish. You itchy? Yeah, Just want to leave you. No, actually. So you're gonna blend it. Okay, it's blended, right? 
let's turn it off so let's come here this is the beans i'm making i'm making um some african beans you can use black eye peas to make this um dish these beans look like black eye peas but it's not black eye peas it's some kind of beans from nigeria yeah that's good so i'm gonna chop up some onions you can read comments for me i really want to respond to my jewels where is honey Madu, give him chair now. Stop it. We don't play. Not everything you have to play. Give your brother chair. Give your brother chair. You go to um Cooking with Chef Ruby page and read comments. You read comments on Chef Ruby and family. Okay, go ahead. Everybody gonna get paid. It's not for you. Which phone? No, you have to get your own phone. Huh? I think he wants to record and read comments. I don't think you can see that here. That page don't come up there. Mm -mm. Okay, so let's go, guys. I'm showing you guys how to make black eyed peas, the African way. Or any beans of your choice, the African way. Huh? 111586. So this is my African palm oil. You put my African palm oil in there. AJE Thread said, I've been your country, Nigeria. It's not my country, oh. <laughs> eh, Nigeria is not my country. Sierra Leone is my country. Sierra Leone. Well, Nigeria is West Africa. We are all from West Africa, but Nigeria is not my country. I'm not going to claim somebody's country. Hell no. I am from Sierra Leone. I am not from Nigeria. A lot of people think I'm from Nigeria, but I'm not from Nigeria. We're all the same people, though. Are you okay? Huh? Read yeah. comments, no? <coughs> A lot of comments over there you need to read. read. Wait, where? You know what you need? I have to download Facebook again, but I just... Lahi, 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 so we are burning, we are warming the palm oil, or you can say burning the palm oil. So while I'm doing that, happy new year, beautiful, beautiful to you on your family. Thank you, Paula. So this is the black eye peas already boiled. So now we're going to come in here and smash it. I like to smash my black eye peas. Thank you. I was not sick though. I was okay. It was my boo boo was not feeling good. What's on the menu? I'm cooking African beans right here. Black eye peas is boiled already. It looks like black eye peas, but it's not really black eye peas. It's like, let me show you guys the beans. Let me get it from my pantry. black eye peas y'all see that this is black eye peas you can get this in any store this is they call this sweet beans this one this one i'm cooking hold on let me turn this phone this one i'm cooking that's the pack right here they call it sweet beans you can get it in any african store sweet beans it's so good it's so good to cook Huh? No, it's not honey beans. This is sweet beans. Well, maybe African people call it sweet beans. It might be honey beans. I don't know. Because on the on the package, they say sweet beans. You know? But like I said, you can use this. You can use the black eye peas. Normally, I use the black eye peas. But I wanted to try this one. These sweet beans. That's why I bought this from the African store. But you can buy the... Um, you can buy the sweet beans or honey beans 
any beans of your choice you like you can use it on this recipe okay hi friend that looks good thank you i'm not finished yet so i'm still cooking so my oil is still getting hot the african oil let me turn you guys over here never said can you be my sister from another mother yes i can be your sister any time of the day so i'm boiling some fresh tomatoes here fresh tomatoes and red peppers i'm boiling in there so i'm going to cut up some onions and boil the onions too fresh tomatoes and red peppers fresh tomato red peppers and onions boiling together i should have put the onions before so let me make sure the onions go under so they can boil this is what i'm going to use for my jollof rice I want the onions to go down so they can cook because the peppers and uh, the peppers and the tomatoes are almost done so the onions gonna be there and you let the onions cook let me put the fire up a little bit so as you can, guys can see the oil right here the palm oil back up a little bit Abu. I'm gonna put my onions in there That's not too much palm oil for my for my beans. That looks like palm oil. You are welcome. I use a very small palm oil. Oh, that's nice. So you're gonna take your blended ingredient, which is habanero and onions. Habanero onions and um, what else? I think just habanero onions and crayfish. I put some crayfish in here. So you're gonna put it here, then you're gonna mix it right here. You'll see that. If you wanna make oil beans, you use vegetable oils. Vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, any oil of your choice. But if you wanna use the African palm oil, you can use the African palm oil. I, I wanna eat the African palm oil one, and that's what I'm making. So let me raise this blender. Because I want to be clean with all flights. I don't want that to fish to be in the A drainer? A drainer, yeah. A drainer to um, drain the beans. I want to drain the beans, drain those peppers. Thank you. So I just wash my blender. Okay. So now you have to come in and mix your. Huh? Yeah, that one is good. That one is good. So you have to come put in the sink. You have to come in and fry your pepper like that. Then now you're gonna take your beans. You're gonna put your beans in the sauce. Okay? Your beans goes in there. Let me take it out of the pot. Look at this. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Now you're going to mix your beans with all that good stuff that you blended. That's how you cook African beans. Some people might have their own recipe how they do it. But this is how I do mine. Even me, I can, I can cook it in a different way if I want. African food, that's the good thing about African food. People have... Mad, you're gonna break my chairs. I'm gonna put little salts, little salt here. Then I'm gonna put my all purpose seasonings. You all go to the website and I order. Huh? Nice Pin the website up. Hey, chef is here. Chef didn't go nowhere. Chef is here. Welcome back, Chef Ruby. Have you and your family in my prayers. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you guys for your prayers. When I was reading those comments, I swear to God, I was <laughs> I was smiling. You can see. You can see all my teeth from left to right. I was smiling all the way down. Smiling with happiness, though. You know, I'm smiling with happiness. For, for you to know that you have people that really... Oh my god. 
genuinely said, will they be greasy? Mm-mm. You can take your grease out if you want. Oh my God. It tastes so good. Oh, I can eat it. I can just eat it by itself like that. Oh my God. Okay. So now we're going to clean our fish. This is beans with fish. We're not putting no abu holes. That's good. That's perfect. This one. Turn it towards me. This is beans with fish. Only fish. We're not putting no meat here. No curry goat. No, no lamb. No chicken. Only fish. So, mm -hmm. Thank you. This is catfish. This is catfish I'm putting. I'm putting catfish in these beans. These beans, you can eat it with bread. It's good in the morning for breakfast. When you just wake up, you can make some bread. Eat it with some fresh bread. If you come from Sierra Leone, you come from Nigeria, Ghana, you know what's going on in this part. Because you guys eat a lot of beans. Ghanaians, Nigerians. Why you read like that? Okay, read. She said what? Hell no. Hell to the no. Never said never do you know. <laughs> Abu, you have an auntie, you have a cousin, hmm? she's your auntie, right? Yeah. So this is mackerel fish, I'm putting a lot of fish in these beans because I'm not putting no meat in there, so it's going to be all fish, you have to clean your fish good, can you guys see, clean your fish, take all that numpo numpo out. Abu, what is nompo nompo? You don't know what is nompo nompo? Mm -hmm. Hey, Maru, what is nompo nompo? Guess. I don't if you guess, I give you $20. Where is it? You take all the nompo nompo out of the fish. The mm -mm. There's no fat in fish. Nompo nompo is timini word. My language is timini. Nompo nompo. Bone? No, it's not bones. Blood skin? No. Nompo nompo. Scale? Huh? Scale? No. Nompo nompo. Bone. Numpo numpo. Tail. No. The numpo numpo out of the fish. What is numpo numpo jewels? Can you guys guess? What is numpo numpo on the fish? Is it like the white stuff? No. Nope. You clean all the numpo numpo out of the fish before you put it there. All if, the extra stuff. No. Nope. If you are from Sierra Leone. Mm, something like that, the but. Stuff. No. No. You clean all the numpo numpo out of the fish. The dirt? Nope. Dirtiness? Mm-mm. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> what is it then? Google it. Mommy doesn't even know what that is. Mommy doesn't even know what that is. What Google said? They said it's the disambiguation. Uh-huh. Oh. Disambiguation? I think. Nope, nope is the slipperiness on the fish. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like this. Take like this. Slipperiness All this slipperiness. The That's what we call Nompo Nompo in Timini. The slipperiness. You know, you know, catfish is very slippery, right? Yeah. Yeah. Catfish is a slippery fish. So when you hear the Timini people said, go clean that Nompo Nompo out of that fish. That's what they mean, okay? Go clean that slipperiness. Yeah, slipperiness out of the fish. Nompo Nompo. That's my language. You all have to go to Sierra Leone and stay there for like a month or two so you guys can learn my language. Do you want to learn my language? So that's enough fish. Let me clean here. Mm. Now we're going to come mix turn that camera so they can see my beans. I will move that camera back a little bit. Oh my God. Look at these beans, guys. This you can eat it over rice. Mm -mm -mm. People that will say, is it going to be oily? No, these beans going to suck all the oil. 
out of the oil. So this is going to be only fish. We're not putting no meat in here. So you're going to let it cook now till all the fish cook down, the onions cook down, everything cook down. Do you guys see that? You see that? Just imagine you have fresh, fresh bread. <laughs> Chef, I am going to Frita. <laughs> I'll take it to Frita. <laughs> they are laughing over here. Me self, me self, they, me self, they, they can cook beans, mouth watering, yum. Abu for land creole. Abu, they said you get for land creole. Let them come. I'm here. You have to let the oil cook. You have to let the onions cook. But for now, man, when I used to go to school in Africa, Abu, we used to eat this. When we have lunch, this is what we eat. You go eat this with cassada. You know cassada? Cassava? Yuca. You know cassava yuca? They, they chop it up, they boil it, and they squeeze it. You eat it with the beans. Beans and cassada. The people that come from Sierra Leone, they know. So, I used to eat this almost every day. Just imagine, you know, for breakfast or lunch. In Sierra Leone, you eat it too for dinner if you want. You One meal. Uh-huh. If you don't have enough, you don't have free bre breakfast at school, what you gonna eat? You guys are lucky. You're all born here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey! Oh no. Somebody needs to come try this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I really want to taste it. Oh my god, this is too good. Oh my god, look at this. Look at it. I will make video for me quick. Oh my god. You guys see how easy it was to cook? Look at this. Oh my god. And it's not ready yet, all. you have to let it ready. This with bread in the morning. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. James is watching. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. You see that? Eh? Hey, eh? Hey, fire, fire, fire. Fire, go on him. Fire, go on him. <laughs> it's fire, go on him. <laughs> Laughing at me. The fire go burn him. Fire go burn him. Ah, this beans is too good, man. I just want to take some out and eat right, right, right now. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, the bomb that's come. So we're gonna move this to the side. Let me show you guys. This is um boiled tomatoes. Red onions. <laughs> Where do you get red onions? <laughs> okay, this is uh, fresh tomatoes, red bell peppers, and yellow onions. We're going to drain the water. I'm going to show you guys how to cook jollof rice. Fast jollof rice the Nigerian way. So you're going to come here, drain the water. Guys, you drain the water very well. Let me see. Maru. <laughs> Maru. Maru. Go in the pantry and give me another pot like that. I will turn the phones. Turn the phones. I want them to see. I want them to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Turn the phones here. Let me show them what I'm doing. Give me another pot. Okay, you guys are not reading comments. I'm reading. Nobody is reading comments. Nobody's commenting. That's not nice. They're commenting. No, the mommy pop, pop like huh? this. Like, like this? this? Yeah, like that. It's in the pantry. Yeah, it's in that pantry. Oh, get you what? Huh? Get you what? Get you what? You said get you something. Uh, I forgot. 
show these people what I'm doing. Make sure. So guys, you drain the water. You drain the water off of this um, fresh tomatoes, red peppers, and some onions that's already boiled. You drain the water, then you put it in the blender. Yeah, this is mine. this, huh? Is it good? Yeah, put it on. This is what I'm gonna use for my rice. Somebody passed me the um, pavo rice. I have pavo rice. I have pavo rice. I want the beans to continue to cook. So as you guys can see, I have this ingredient here. The rice is in there. Let me move this here. So we're gonna put habanero peppers. This I'm putting only two habanero peppers because of the kids. Then you put your green onions here in the blender. Can you guys see? You put your green onions. I might as sit up straight. And we comment. This is a um, parsley. We put some parsley or cilantro. Either one you can use. So you put them here. Let me take everything. <coughs> I have to cover. <coughs> okay. So now you're gonna cover it and blend. <laughs> I know you need to follow Chef Chef Ruby and family. You all see that? You see how fresh it looks? Nice. You boil it. You have to boil all these ingredients that I told you: onions, tomatoes, red peppers. This for Nigerian jollof rice. You, you don't have eyes to see it. Let me come look for it. Get paper towel. Let me wipe this. Um, let me wipe this. I need to go get my rice ready for the jollof rice. Thank you. I want it. So you wipe your stuff. Always wipe your stuff after you use them because you don't want them to go bad. These stuff are so expensive. All right, let's come here to the pot. Let's come here. Hello, how are you? How are you doing today? Chef Ruby is cooking. Where is my oil? I need vegetable oil. Okay. This is my reusable oil. Re reusable oil. I think that's enough. Okay. So you're gonna let it, the oil get hot. Now I'm gonna look for my rice. What should I use? Should I use pabo rice or should I use um, jasmine rice? I'm cooking for you guys. Jasmine rice or pabo rice? Pabo rice. It's the brown rice. It's kind of hard. The jasmine rice is the soft one. Mm. Jasmine. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have to agree. Right. We just rock the scissors and I want to get it. Mm -hmm. mm. Pablo rice or jasmine rice? Pablo rice. Pablo rice. Pablo rice. Okay. Let me wash it. I have to wash the pablo rice. Okay, I'm washing. 
washing, you have to wash the pabo rice with hot water. With hot water. You have to wash it with hot, hot water. You can turn the camera and let them see me while I'm doing it. I did. You'll see the day eating fruit, you're not reading comments. to drain the water because you don't want to put Sarah said yes washing it well takes out a lot of starch yes. and prevents it from being sticky. Actually parboiled rice don't have too much starch. So but it's always good to wash your rice because you don't know where your rice came from. You don't know which floor your rice came from, which machine your rice came from. So it's always good to wash. So I'm gonna take this rice and put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. Like 10 minutes. Okay, so it's like um it's like you pre-cooking your rice. So now let's come over here. Let me show you guys how I'm gonna do the, the stew for the jollof rice. My beans is still cooking here. You have to let it cook till the oil is done, till the onions is done, or everything else in there is done. It's still cooking. I'm gonna turn the fire down low, 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 low. Because if your palm oil don't cook well, when you eat it, it's gonna be sticky in your mouth. It's gonna be so sticky in your mouth. Oh my God, oh my God. This beans is out of this world. This beans is out of this world. It looks, it looks delicious, Chef. Huh? You must say it looks delicious, Shepard. I'm telling you, this beans, uh-uh. Okay. So I'm washing my spoon. Maru don't eat fish. Julie said good evening, Shepard. Say again. Julie said good evening, Shepard. Good evening, Julie. How are you? So, we're going to take our blended ingredients. This one right here. Wait, come a little. Uh -huh. That's it. No, go a little bit down. Okay, a little bit down. It's going to it, touch it. Okay. So you all see that? You fry this. I told you to make videos for you. You know what I Videos. So you all see this? Huh? It's okay. Maybe you can start making video. You can just make a video of this. Um, uh huh. You getting gray here, huh? You want to gray like your dad? Your dad is not fifty-eight. He have gray here all over the place. What type of stress do you have? Huh? You know, answer my question. What type of stress do you have? You have stress. You have to be stressed for you to have gray here. You're putting all purpose seasoning. Tell me the stress you have. 
Did your girlfriend dump you? Or what? Why are you stressed? You have a girlfriend? Yeah, okay. So what's the problem? You're not supposed to be gray by now. No, there is no way. You're going to be gray. Huh? At this age, 14, 14 years old, hell no. No, if you have gray here at this age, I'm going to send you to Africa. So go relax there for a minute. Oh no. In America at this age, you have gray here. Hi, how are you? My son said he have gray hair, 14 years old. Is that possible, guys? Because I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. Do I have tomato paste? We are very well. We thank God for the life. We thank God for the good health. We thank God for everything in this life. We thank God. When you wake up every day, you have to thank God. Uh, where is my ginger? Okay. So we're going to take ginger and garlic. You guys know Chef Ruby have her ginger and garlic already prepped. We're going to put some here. Yes, you cannot cook the lot fries, you don't cook ginger and garlic. It's a sign of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Hey, what kind of wisdom? Mommy, you know my name means wise old man. Your name means wise old man? Yeah. Okay. So it's possible. Wow. some turmeric here. I wanted to put tomato paste, but I don't have tomato paste. So I'm going to make it with um, turmeric and curry powder. Small curry powder here. Small curry powder and small turmeric. America is wonderful. Mm. I don't see nobody that have gray hair at that age in Africa. And uh, this country is wonderful. He have gray hair. He has Hey, that's crazy. Tracy said I have streams of gray hair, gray in my hair at six. Wait, she probably. In sixth grade, it's genetics. Eh? Wow. Guys, I'm putting some Maggi. Can't cook jollof rice without Maggi. I put my all purpose seasonings. Now I put Maggi. You all see that? You will see that? Land, oh, land. You have to cook this jollof rice for your lover, lover. You have to cook this jello fries for your kids, for your family. Hey, 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 You all see that? You all see that? You have your little curry, your little turmeric. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys see that? Chef Ruby is the bomb cook in America. The bomb cook in America. Okay? Watching from Mississippi. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, my dear. Hello, Miss Deborah. How are you? Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Anybody want to support me, you can send stars for Chef Ruby to show your support. And you guys follow us on our new page, Chef Ruby and Family. 
You all go follow the new page, Chef Ruby and Family. You all see this steel? You see my steel? So now we're going to the good parts of the steel. Let's go to the new parts or the good parts of the lovely steel. This is my baked chicken. You guys remember this baked chicken? You all remember this baked chicken? Huh? Eight, the baked chicken you guys run away from and go to your dad's house. Yeah. You all remember this? Yeah. Now you're going to eat it. In the jollof rice. In the jollof rice. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you're going to eat it. You're going to love it. Yeah. I make this baked chicken with some veggies. They eat up all the veggies. And eat up, what is it I make? Mashed potatoes? They eat up all the veggies and run away and left. So, now my baked chicken is in this stew. This um, delicious African stew. You all see that? So, you all see that? Don't ever waste food in your house. You can always turn your food to something else. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are you my dear? So do you guys see this chicken in this um, curry turmeric stew? Hmm, God. Oh, thank you so much. Columbus, Ohio. Hi, Teresa. How are you? You guys, come on. Let's cook this stew. This stew. It tastes super. Super good. Which I will say, I will take it tomorrow. I'm on the other one. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, you said all my family members have it. It starts on the left side of your hand first before it spreads. Can you say how is that chicken preserved? You said the family members did what? All my family members had like gray hairs and it started on the left side. Oh, gray hair. I don't like gray hair. Anytime I see gray hair, I take it out. I don't like gray hair. Mm -mm. Gray hair makes you look old. It looks sexy on some people. Gray hair? Mm hmm. It yeah. looks sexy on, on some people. But some people, it looks, especially the broke people, when they have gray hair, they look like, they look like they're old. They look like they're very old. So guys, y'all see this um, stew now? Let me show you guys what I'm doing with this stew. Where is that pot? Oh my God. This pot, I have to clean it. take this chicken out take this chicken out put it in this pot the chicken is not done yet too. well it's done but you still have to marinate it in this stew so we're gonna take it out and put it on a low heat so we can continue cooking in this stew then the rest of the stew now we're gonna cook the jollof rice this kid's gonna lick their hands they're gonna love this food. Taking all the chicken out. This is baked chicken. I baked this chicken like two days ago. These kids did not eat it. They, they eat some, they left. I didn't eat some. You didn't eat none? That's not eat. So should I eat? Have we eat some? Or you just eat the veggies? You guys are missing out. All this good food, you don't want to eat it. You're missing. 
You're missing out big time. Hmm? Mama said food is looking good. Y'all see this chicken? See the chicken with the stew? I'm going to put it to the side. Then now I'm going to bring my rice. I'm going to bring my pavo rice. Put your pavo rice in this. In this oil. In this stew. Mix your pavo rice. In the stew. And now you bring water. Julia said, watching from Augusta, Georgia, I haven't seen you in, in a while, but you look so good. Tell them to follow us on Chef Ruby and Family. If you want to see me every day, go follow me on Chef Ruby and Family. That way you can see me almost every day. So you're going to mix this too, right? With your rice. Video this you can join it together with that video it's just like you're making fried rice all that stew down there you have to scrape it you all see that why are you laughing yeah the rice splash on me all this stew down there scrape it up And put it here. Put, put hot water in there. Adrian, you made the CD garden so looking good, chef. Yeah, looking good. Tastes good. <laughs> looking good and tastes good. So this is your jollof rice. It's gonna look like fried rice. I'm gonna break some one maggi just to give it flavor. Bricks, one maggie there. Joyce Barrow said. Then you get your all purpose seasonings, huh? Joyce Barrow said you are you are a very good cook. Thank you so much. You put your all purpose seasonings in there, right? Then you come back and mix it so the seasonings can go in the rice because you want your rice to be flavorful. Do you say? Mm -hmm. Oh, can you? Tomato sauce if you don't have tomato paste. Uh, tomato sauce. It's not gonna look the same. You know, you can do tomato sauce, but your jollof rice is gonna look like plain, like this one I'm cooking. It's not gonna look like a red jollof rice. If you want a red, red, red jollof rice, then you have to have the tomato paste. Let me turn fire. I'm so gonna Hello, mm -hmm. Chef Ruby family and everyone else. Hello, how are you? Yeah, you can use um tomato sauce, but tomato sauce is not going to make your jollof rice red. You know, it's going to look like this jollof rice I'm cooking. It's going to look like fried rice or just plain jollof rice. But if you want your rice to look red like Nigerian jollof rice, you have to put your little tomato paste in it. Okay? But some Nigerians, they will use a lot of red bell peppers. They don't even bother to use tomato paste. A lot of red peppers, sometimes it makes your jollof rice red, you know. So it's up to you, the individual, how you want to cook your food. You know, I'm just showing you guys the recipe. This is how I cook mine. I have 10 or 15 different ways to cook any African food I'm cooking. It's so many ways. That's the good thing about African food. It's so many ways to cook it. Like this, huh? Yes, uh what was in that little packet you added to the rice? That's Maggi. They call it Maggi, Jumbo Maggi. It's African Maggi. I don't. I used to use this a lot when I'm cooking, when I didn't have my seasoning. But now, maybe I'll only put one just to add to my flavor. But 90% I use my all-purpose seasoning for my chicken dishes. This is African Jumbo Maggi. You can get it in any store. Some of you guys that don't like too much salt or too much seasonings in your food. You don't have to bother with the Maggi. Just use um, Chef Ruby All Purpose Seasoning. That should be good on your food. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. so how does your country usually make it? Huh? Nene said, how does your country usually make it? How my country make this Maggi? No, the food. 
Oh, the jollof rice? Oh, no. I have to give you the recipe. I cannot explain it. I have to give you. Sierra Leone jollof rice is totally different from this one. Yeah, Sierra Leone jollof rice is different from this. Every country have their own jollof rice. This is something like Nigerian jollof rice. I'm just making my own, but it's like Nigerian jollof rice, you know? So if you're from Nigeria, you know what I'm doing here. So we're gonna let the jollof rice cook. Let me wash my hands. When I'm done, I'm gonna clean everything in this sink. When I cook, I don't like to leave mess. I wanna clean all my mess, you know? So let me see what I'm gonna do. Do we have a good rice here? Okay, I'm gonna. Do you guys? Oh, the the beans. Okay. Alright, I think you should clear up this place. He's not really coming. I'm on the video. No, I'll cut it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Turn this thing here. You're not talking. You haven't said anything for the past thirty minutes. We have to walk, guys. We have to hustle. Maybe America. Said on the old America page. is hustling. Good, good. If you don't hustle in America, you're gonna suffer. Let's hustle, okay? Y'all have to hustle with, with your mom. I'm telling you guys, America is hustling. You don't hustle, especially for men, it's a problem Oh my bro. My bro, I'm telling you the truth, bro. Bro, yeah, you guys are bro. Okay, don't so, listen. Sophia said, love uh -huh. the way you cook and explain the way you cooking on details. Thank you. I hope I, I explained good. Okay. So I'm warming up some rice. I'm warming, I'm warming up some rice. We're gonna eat this rice. We're gonna eat this rice with some beans. So she said she liked the way I explained. Huh? She said. Uh huh. She said, I love the way you cook and explain the way you be cooking. Oh, thank you and thank you for watching. Okay, bro. Let me tell you guys something. When I talk, you're laughing. You all think I'm your grandma. But I'm telling you the reality of life. America is a hustling country. You have to hustle. Mommy, we learn this new word. Huh? We learn this new word. You learn it at school? Uh huh. You learn that at school? Uh, kind of. What, what they say? Like? What they teach you at what school? What is like a word called yapping? Huh? Yapping. Yapping? Yeah. What is yapping? So it's me, like I'm yapping. Somebody, uh, kind of. It's like when somebody, it's like when somebody, somebody, somebody like talks a lot. Uh huh. Somebody talks a lot. It's like all they do is just yap, 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 yap. So you guys are yapping. Uh, technically, because we're us? talking. There's no us. That's you. I mean, we're talking, so that yapping. Yapping is talking too much. So I'm talking, talking too. Nonsense. I'm trying to teach you guys some stuff. You're telling me I'm talking too much. That's what you guys say. Yeah. I'm trying to teach you the hustle of the game in this country. You have to be a hustler. It don't matter how educated you are, you still have to be a hustler to make money. I'm trying to teach you guys how to hustle. Now you're telling me I'm yappy. No, it was just a word that, that came up when like, you started talking. Where the word came up? Like, like said, when you kept talking, uh -huh. it, like, it just reminded me of the word yapping. You guys hear this boy telling me, me I'm yapping. To me, I'm yapping. You yeah. don't... You don't want to listen to what I'm saying. No, I do. I just like said like like it's like a new word. It's like a new word. Where the new word came from? School. Huh? From my seventh period. From your seventh period school. Yeah, from my teacher. So that's why you guys telling your teachers that they yap in at school. No. So who teach you that word? Well, so this student, so this student said that all this financial does is yap, and I asked the word yap it means because. I, uh, I knew the way I just didn't know. So you two, you didn't know what yappy means? No. So okay. he told me, he told me, that's a, oh, so that's a word. So now, like, now it just, like, came up in my head when you were talking. Hey, America. I'm going to sue this country for spoiling all the kids in this country. You, you're going to look at your chicha. You say your chicha is yappy. Now you come home. You say you learned that word from your seventh grade. Now you're going to look at your mom. You said, oh, this word just came up. Yapping. Like me, I don't know the meaning. What is yapping? So you two, you think me, I don't know the meaning. Uh, I didn't know that you knew it. <laughs> I mean, you said it before, but I mean... Ooh, 
This boy, this, what's wrong with Madu? Why? <laughs> what is wrong with Madu? Uh, they better listen to what you are saying. Thank you, Miss June. They don't listen or they say we 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 American parents we're yapping. <laughs> or you can or you can say I laugh tired. No, they laugh. They say we're yapping. No problem. You're gonna be yapping when you go out there. Just watch. America. America is waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Them talks say you they repeat and yapping. They say what? He said them talks say you they repeat and yapping. <laughs> they talk say it's Creole. Yeah, Creole. They talk say you they repeat and yapping. No yeah. problem. Me, I'm yapping though. Because when you leave my house, you don't want to be yapping. Because when you go out there, you know. It don't matter how educated you are. Like when COVID came, a lot of people lost their jobs. You know, this COVID even make a lot of people become their own boss. This COVID that came, it, it, this COVID made a lot of people start their own business. Even educate. Listen, listen to me, huh? It introduced a lot of people to being an entrepreneur. Thank you, thank you. That's the right English word. You know, it introduced a lot of people to be what? An entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. 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 Yeah. Okay? So, they stay in their house, they invent products. They invent businesses. They make, some people now where they call them, hey, hey, master, hey, can you, can you come to work? They say, shame, man, I ain't coming to that work anymore. I ain't coming, I ain't coming. Because they stay in home, they're making thousands of dollars. Some people even just to cook for Facebook, they're making thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You want to know what a lot of people started doing uh, as an entrepreneur? Uh -huh. A lot of people started making like clothing brands. Clothing brands, like the, seasonings. Like you know how many people start making seasonings during COVID? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Hey, hey. So I'm trying to teach you guys. So, hey, put this thing straight. I'm trying to teach you guys. You know, in the future, anything happen like that, you can get in the kitchen and start cooking. Or you can invent your own products. You can do your own thing. You don't have to sit down and wait for nobody. No. Why I'm the and you telling me I'm happy. Why does that look like peanut butter? It's not peanut butter. It's beans, but you cannot eat this. You all read the comments. Read. No, I love the way you cook. The, uh, Thank you. New page. The new page. Why nobody is commenting? People commenting. Oh, you guys said I I yap a lot at home too. My kids don't start. Yeah, I yap every day. I'm yapping every day. Nene said I bet the kids are still can't wait to mm. step for the kids. Like don't feel on. Oh, you guys said. Uh huh. I don't. Know how do you I call? Know. How do you call her? Oh, oh, you guys. <laughs> how do you call her? Oh, oh, you guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is it or you can or or you can? It's O Y I N K N. Mm -hmm. O O Y K. O Y K. That's a Nigerian name. You know that? Let me come taste this beans. Me, I'm hungry. She said, I don't laugh tire. You don't laugh tire. These kids, they're gonna make you laugh tire. American kids, they don't know nothing. These kids. She said, I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, O Y K. These American kids, they don't know nothing. All they know, what they teach them at school. We here from Africa will try to teach them the, 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 the origin, the roots of the problem. They don't want to listen. This one said, my school told me that he yapping too much. No problem. Mm. Eh? My teeth. Ah. Oh, I have strong teeth. Mm. Ah. This is my bean soap. <laughs> Let me enjoy my beans while I'm yapping. Ooh. I always tell them, one day you're going to wish to hear this voice. You're not going to hear it. Then you're going to miss that voice a lot. Uh, oh, my God. Mm. Take water. Did you take water? Yeah. Two water? Yeah. Thank you. Good boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. This beans is the bomb. Hi. It's hot. 
I'm gonna try. You're gonna love it. It's so good. No beef, no meat, only fish. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. This is a greenish that looks delicious. It tastes delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's hot. Mm -mm. This is too hot. Oh my god. Mm. What kind of beans are they? Sweet beans. What type of beans did you use? Um, sweet beans. Um, well, you have to go back to start the video. Sweet beans. It's African beans. Go to any African store and look for them. Or any farmer's market. I think I bought them from the farmer's market. The beans is so... Why? Mm. It's so good. It's too good. Too, too good. Mm. Oh my God. I will not taste them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is too good. Mm -mm. Why do you always like to eat hot food? I like hot food. Cold food is not good. Hot food is the best. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hot food is the best. You don't know that. When your food goes in your stomach hot, you feel good. Mm. If my food is not hot, I don't want it. I don't like cold food. It's so good. These beans, everybody needs to go cook it. Use black eye peas if you want. Mm. Mm. -mm, -mm. Oh my god. This thing tastes so good. Mm. I'm doing good, Miss Kim. This is too good. I will turn the cameras. This pair of boxes is going to be on top of that. Yeah. Well, it looks delicious. Are you going to write it? Turn the other one. I'm going to write it. After I eat, finish, I write it. Y'all see my jello fries now? It's coming along. Y'all see that? I don't know what to tell you. I know there is a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some water. Mm -hmm. Let's add some water. Mm -hmm. I know there is a way. Do you guys want me to put this corned beef on the rice? Uh, it's good. Like chicken. Sure, sure. Whatever makes it taste better. Yeah. Mm. You can put mixed vegetable if you want. Kim said that's good. I saw your status the other day about the devil home happy if they were better. Tina said hello. I'm feeling better. I'm okay. Hi, Tina. This is lunch of meat. It's not spam. It's not pork. It's lunch of meat. It's chicken. They have chicken. They have turkey. They have beef. But this is the chicken one. I'm gonna cut it up for the kids and put it there. Like I said, put mm -hmm. corn beef. Corn beef. I don't have corn beef. I'm. I'm. I have this one. So I'm gonna, gonna put this one. I have. Tracy said, "Okay, I love bean, like the intel and great burger mix." Yeah, please go cook this recipe. Any beans of your choice is good. Any beans of your choice. You're going to love this recipe. You can eat it with bread. You can eat it with rice. You can eat it with anything of your choice. So I'm just going to put lines in here and chop it up in there. You can put mixed vegetables in this rice. You can put mixed vegetables 
if you want. Madu don't like mixed vegetables. So I'm not gonna put it there. I'm gonna put one stick of butter to make it fluffy. And so, you all see that? Mix it. He said, I don't like cold food either. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't like cold food though. Y'all see this butter? This butter gonna be melting in this rice. It's gonna make the rice fluffy. Just put it in the middle like this and cover this with the rice. As Leanne said, I haven't seen you in a long time. Happy to see you back live. Tell her to follow us on Chef Ruby and Family. Go follow us on Chef Ruby and Family. That's why we make videos almost every day. So go type in Chef Ruby and Family. I think Abu pinned the page. Go follow us there. That's our new page. So I'm going to cover this on low heat. Y'all see how beautiful the rice is? You can put corned beef if you want. But I don't have corned beef, so I put the chicken on lunch or meat. Uh, they call it chicken lunch or meat. Chicken and beef lunch or meat, actually. Halal. So they have different kinds you can put in your food. My kids going to love this food. So maybe another 20 to 30 minutes, this food going to be ready. We have the chicken right there. The chicken is cooking slowly. So the chicken can be ready too. You have to put fire on the chicken. So my chicken is cooking right here. Can you guys see? Let me take this phone. I will pull this phone for me. Mm -hmm. Pull the phone out. Yeah. This beans what is the bottom. I wanted to show them this chicken. I show them the beans too. This beans is the bottom. now this we're gonna put in the fridge you can eat it for breakfast you can eat it for lunch for breakfast you can eat it with some french bread like fresh bread or you can eat it with rice Hassan. yeah right on time right on time how you doing hello how are you doing Give it to go plates. Give it to go plates. Mom is here? Oh, it is inside. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I'm almost done cooking. I'm waiting for this jollof rice to be ready. We have chicken stew over there, then we have beans. Hey, 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 uncle, give me one to go plate. You can hand the phone back. You all see these beans? This is the beans right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. My brother came right on time, so I'm putting this for him. Nipa, yes, sorry, yo. Yes. <laughs> America woke. Mm -hmm. Nipa woke. We're on Facebook, we work for. Hi, everything, okay? Yeah. Hey, How life work? This for my brother. He's going to take it home. You see, if you're lucky to be close to me, you can just pull up. Oh. Pull up anytime. You got a ball. Hey, honey, put it over there. Be careful now, the oil. You can just pull up any time of the day. Then you get you a nice bowl. Nice, nice, nice bowl. So now we're just waiting for the jollof rice to be ready. So I can show you guys. And we can go. Reset, that looks so delicious. It looks so delicious. If somebody just come here and try these beans. You just come have a taste of these beans. You're gonna be good. It tastes so good. 
And this is good to cook and keep it in your house. So anytime you have guests, they have food to eat. Anytime you have guests, they're going to have food to eat. Kim said rice looks very good. Huh? The rice looks very good. The rice is not ready. I'm going to show them when it's ready. But it looks good already. Y'all going to eat now? Y'all going to eat, boys, when it's done? Y'all eat one time and y'all go shower and get ready. I also said, oh my God, I wish I lived close to you. <laughs> A lot of people wish they live close to me. I'm telling you, they're going to be so happy. They, these ones, they live close to me, they don't eat. <laughs> right, Madu? Madu live right next to me here. He don't eat. When you give them food, they don't eat. Why you don't like to eat, Madu? Mm -hmm. I'm balancing my weight. You what? Balancing my weight. Where is the weight? Right here. Where is the weight? Then they love Africa bikini. May they go Africa, may they see. May they see how bikini they suffer there for food. Uh-huh. They say eat. They say, no, nah, I don't want to gain weight. Go Africa. And go see the way kids are suffering over there. I see you. When they give you food, you're going to eat. For real. They need to go Africa. Two months. Huh? Yeah, I go there back for two months. They stay there. You just go stay there for two months, man. But you going next year, though. You going with me, right? This year. This year, yeah. You wanna go? Let's go visit. You go to Senegal. You going to Sierra Leone. You going to Sierra Leone. I'm waiting to show you guys the the the, the end of this jollof rice. My beans and rice is still here. You know, when you, when you eat, you stop. It makes you full. So my stomach is kind of full right now. But I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to come back and eat it later. I'm yeah, not going to waste it. Hello, Miss Jackie. Hello. Hello, Miss Jackie. How are you? You guys go follow us. Um, the page is pinned on Cooking with Chef Ruby. Y'all go follow us on Chef Ruby and Family. That's our new page. That's where we get the stars. That's why we go live most of the time. So please, if you don't see me on Cooking with Chef Ruby, don't ask me why. Go follow Chef Ruby and family. It's pinned right there. Just go type it. Just go type it on on Facebook and follow us. Please, we want you guys to move over to the new page. We want all our hundred and twenty something thousand people that are following us on the old page. We want all of you guys to move over there. I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live in Japan. I don't care if you live in Africa, please go follow Chef Ruby and family so we can grow that page. When I opened this old page, I didn't know what I was doing. I did a lot of mistakes. So the page is kind of messed up and up to now I cannot find somebody to fix it for me. So I have to open the other page. So that's why I'm asking you guys to follow the new page, Chef Ruby and family. That's why I do most of my cooking nowadays. So please, y'all go follow us. So let's check this rice together. Nice, nice man. Nice Eh, sabi me now. I never cook jollof rice. I need something to hold this pot. How do I pick it up? This country, my brother. Eat money, not deal. But the food, you mm. you eat stay wrong. Well, I need little bit. You know what? Where is this thing? I'm gonna take some of this sauce and put it on this rice. Oh, oh, you know what? Hmm. There could be have some plants. That's why it's called a chef. That's why it's called a chef. Thank you, my son. That's why I love you, boy. 
<laughs> That's why I love this boy. He's so smart. Yeah. Mad is so smart. You guys sometimes you all think he's slow, but he's not slow. You're not slow. <laughs> Maru, sometimes these people think you are not. Are you a nod? <laughs> you not a nod? Hey, Maru. You are a sexy young boy. Do you guys see that? So now I put my chicken in there. And now you can mix together. Sometimes you can eat the stew separate if you want. Sometimes you can put your meat in there. Since I'm cooking for the kids, I'm putting everything in there. We're going to eat this food for days. Mix it. I don't want this pepper to break in here. If you oh, break. Mm -hmm. Long time no see. How are you? Follow us on Chef Ruby and family, please. Oh, thank you for watching. Go follow um, Chef Ruby and family. If you want to see us every day, please go follow that page on Facebook, Chef Ruby and Family. That's why we go live most of the time now. So y'all see this jello fries now? It's cooked with some chicken. We're going to let it steam. It's not dry yet. We're going to let it steam for like 10 more minutes. Then it's going to be ready to eat. Oh, it's not easy to be a chef. You burn yourself all over the place. So that's the jollof rice. Y'all see this jollof rice, guys? That's how you cook for your family. That's how you cook for your kids. You know, you don't have to do much. So guys, five more minutes, we are almost done. Uh, Miss Rose said I am in Atlanta. Come eat now. If you live in Atlanta, come eat. We are waiting for you. Come eat. This one? Looks really good. Thank you, Shirley. Yeah. Let me raise it up. It's clean though. You are going to eat with uncle. You guys are going to show my jewels how to eat the African way. Right? You're gonna eat with your hands? <laughs> yeah, Are you gonna eat with your hands? Yeah. I'm gonna show these kids how to eat the African way. Sure, how? Sure. how? Really good. Thank you. Abu, you're gonna come eat with Uncle Dem, okay? Nelly said, Yummy Chef Ruby. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to see you too. No, just eat. Let's show the jewels how the African people eat. Please. How the African people eat? Una eat? Eh? Una eat? <laughs> 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 you want to eat? Don't you think they're fed in Big Yeah, una eat small. You don't think they're Big Belle? Oh, what you cook? Now you know bring some for we say. You see, we now always they bring food away. Can they bring that? Bring that is food. But it don't matter. Even if that small bowl self. No. Because you don't know if I get cassava leaf now. Tomorrow. I just cook that. I know. I want rice. Miss Rose said I can come eat. Look delicious. Shh. Now big pot you cook. Me said, now that they want land now, not for cook, but cook food. I just want to cook small. Too much food is not good. Hey, brother, wife, and family. Wife is not here. Only brother is here. Miss Teresa, say hi. <laughs> Mariam said, you are always so pleasant. I love that you, that you make it so easy to watch you cook. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... Some people think cooking is very difficult. Cooking is easy. 
It's not difficult. If you know, if you know what you know, if you know what you're doing in the kitchen, it's easy. But when you get in the kitchen, you don't know what you're doing, then it's difficult. Because you don't know if it's, if you need to blend pepper first or cut onions or or clean fish or clean chicken. <laughs> you don't know where to start, right? That's why it's difficult. That's why you guys need to be around the kitchen and learn. Even if you don't cook, just learn. <laughs> so when you go to college, you can cook for yourself, right? Okay, good. But anyway, let's eat. Our jollof rice is ready. Is ready. I need to put for cool. Mario, you're gonna come eat. You're gonna eat with Uncle then. Let's put chicken. That's enough for now. Can't take the food to Uncle. Let me put pepper on the side. Come on, come eat. Bring spoons. Can you guys see the jollof rice? Something dropped. Fixed. These cameras. Can you guys see that? It's a whole bowl. You can take it on. We turn the light on. Call Abu to come eat. I will go sit down and eat. Mm. So good. Eating the African way. <laughs> no, this is not the African way. <laughs> this is not the African way. Abu, go wash your hand, Kai. Kai is off. The African way, you go like this. You have to mondo. You have to mondo. Mmm. 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 -hmm. I'm so full. I'm very good. Very good. Abu! Can't eat now. Can't eat now. We're not going to sleep on you. Come eat now. Oh, wow. 
Yes, they eat out the same bowl in Africa. Definitely, that's how we do it. Everybody that's eating that. the same bowl. <laughs> that's, that. that's how we do it. That's love right there. Wow, Chef Ruby, you have a crowd of boys. Do you have enough food? Yes, I do. Now, Samso. Hi, Sam. <laughs> he didn't want you guys to go. No, he said I want to go by myself. Oh no, that's so nice. Hi Aisha. Hi Aisha. Hi. Aisha. Hi. Aisha. Hi. Aisha. You now nah, we don't want to play. Now only a piece of it. Nice. Aisha, how are you? Hi Aisha. I think so. Where is Abu? Hi Aisha. I want to marry you. Call Abu so. Hi. I like it. Why the bluff? Why the bluff, Abu? Why the bluff, Abu? He said, Look at my hair. Aisha. Asa, this one. This one, I eat. Look at one drop guy inside the rice. Asa, rice up. Auntie Rugi. You, if I beat you. It's auntie. <laughs> Don't call me auntie Ruby. Say auntie. Look a nice man. Hey, Nana. Baby. Oh, no. Why oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. You should have bring her, man. So I want to go to auntie Ruby. Hey, hey. Aunt Rugi, uh -huh. thank you, <laughs> thank you, Anike. Everybody is eating. Let me show you guys the kids. The kids are on the phone. Show them. Asad, say hello. Asad, Asad, baby. Yeah. Now they answer so like big man. You say yeah. Asad, baby, I miss you. Come back, look, I'm fit. Blow me a kiss. Blow me a kiss. Mwah. Blow me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, love you. Where Aisha? Aisha, the baby. You know, Abu no more is Sabina, this house. Abu. Hmm? Only Abu you know in this house. What's up, Aisha? You want to come to me? Huh? What's your Abu? You want to come to me? Tell mommy to bring you. <laughs> so I want to go to Titi. Oh, we we'll meet you guys. <laughs> Haja, what's up? No, you, you, you don't cook cassava leaf, you don't even send for me, Seth. Mm -hmm. huh? I say you cook cassava leaf, you don't send for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow come by yourself. <laughs> say you go learn. <laughs> okay, Jules. Thank you guys for watching. This is what they call family. You know, Africa. This is how we do it. We sit down, we eat with our family in the same bowl. You know, some American people are saying, "Ah, oh, that's nasty." No, it's love. When you dip your hand in the same bowl with your family members, you guys can dip your hands in everything. You know, when problem come, you're going to stand up for your family and help. That's the meaning. You know, 
you guys can see eye to eye you guys can communicate you guys can sit down on that table where you guys eating you can communicate you can have conversation you can tell your problem if you have problems you can tell your happiness if you have happiness you guys can share a lot of stuff on this table you know that's why they say dining table so every family out there my jewels all of you guys make this as priority at least once once a week or two times a week have dinner on the table with your family is very 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 important it brings it brings you guys closer yeah but they keep it bring you it brings you guys closer for real you know when your family member come visit you know cousins sometimes even your neighbors you know you guys can build a good relationship in that food bring people together good food good food oh because if it's water water food salt salt food you never <laughs> don't, <laughs> those, those people they're not gonna come back for the second time the food has to be good when you have good food i swear some 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 friends they will just come ring your bell they will even let you know they're coming <laughs> because they know it's good food there you know so much love to all of you guys i appreciate you guys watching y'all go follow us on chef ruby and family that's the new page and that's where we go live most of the time and you can help us over there you can send stars you can become a supporter you know on the on the new page so i love and appreciate everyone and tomorrow i'm gonna cook um anyway my brother said he'll bring cassava leaves for me so i might save my cassava leaves i wanted to cook cassava leaves tomorrow so love you bye bye